Hello, we are here at Chitsigraph 2016 with Matthew McCauley, Chairman of GSM System. Welcome Matthew and um, tell us a little bit about yourself and your company please. Well thanks Patricia. Um, we are a company that's been in existence for about 16 years, uh, developing a technology for scanning and modeling entire cities at very high precision and visual resolution. Uh, so the company's name is Geosim Systems and our current project is the city of Vancouver where we've scanned 15 square kilometers uh, again at one centimeter visual resolution um, and five to ten centimeters spatial precision everywhere in the city. What is the topic of today's SIGGRAPH presentation, Matthew? So today we're going to discuss a particular project. We had a, an assignment to produce a stereoscopic movie on a very short timeline uh, at very high resolution and using Houdini as the, the rendering software. And uh, we were challenged because when we began to approach it from a standard rendering process, it was, uh, it was, it was very close to the line of being doable, given the resources that we had and the time that we had. Um, and then we suffered a couple of machine uh, hardware issues right away at the beginning of the project and began to look for workarounds. Um, grid markets came into the uh, situation, assessed the problem, uh, created a solution and executed it so we were able to complete on time and deliver our product to our clients who were extremely happy. How was Houdini used to render the city of Vancouver? So Houdini played a very important role in taking the model from uh, very high level detail into something that was photoreal in a sense that it looked like a photograph and often people when we show them these movies they say why are there no birds and where are the people and uh, where are there no cars but we are actually our goal is to make a photo real rendering of the city with all the reflective properties and material properties uh, Houdini offers and, and in my travels through the VFX world I found that Houdini is the preferred choice for cities um, for for large film projects. How do you envision that Geosim Systems will change the industries that it serves? Presently people are looking at ever-increasing levels of data coming in about cities and typically they look at them in 2D displays, dashboards that show the status of devices and so on. But as we move to real-time continuous data flow from sensors and so on, it becomes more and more important to represent information in a way that's properly coupled to the human senses. So uh, providing a 3D environment is something that your nervous system already knows how to do, knows how to interpret. And the effect of that is that you, you free up cognitive bandwidth. So you're now able to look at a world, information is flowing in it, and now you can be th using your cognitive processes to do, analyze the problems and look for solutions, as opposed to trying to understand the display that you're looking at that previously would have been iconic or symbolic. So it's a, it's a fairly important shift into the 3D web world of seeing things volumetrically and being able to navigate through them. So the effect on industries will be uh, a better way to comprehend data because the representation of it is more complete uh, and more contextualized. Thank you for your time, Matthew, and we're excited to have you here with us at SIGGRAPH 2016. Thank you, I'm excited to be here.